Yeah, Lauren, talk about being surprised. Members of the board say they were unaware that Aliva would transition into a new role at the university after stepping down from the position he held for 11 years. Uh, Mr. Aliva's uh, deal, what is, what, what is more that I didn't get any of that information other than what I read in the newspaper. Blindsided by the news, LSU Board Supervisor Jay Blossman says Joe Oliva's reassignment was a complete shocker. What is Mr. Oliva's term? Is he staying for two years to end the contract? Is it, I've heard through the grapevine it might be the end of June. I just want somebody to answer that. Thank you. During Friday's Board of Supervisors meeting, Blossman said he wanted clarity from the president on Oliva's status, something Blossman says he knew nothing about. We learned more from the paper. The advocate knows more than I do. This, this was a, yes sir, I, I, I sometimes. And I don't know if it was in the paper accurately if Joe moving to head of donor relations, but I didn't know if this was some kind of, uh, uh, I don't. I didn't know he had those talents. It was yeah. never head of donor relations, but it was special assistant because uh, to the president, and we're working out the details of that and the duration of that as 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 within the last couple of days. So he'll be with us for a, a little bit, and and uh, uh, and so we're working through those details exactly right now. I just asked for us maybe to get it before the paper, because people tell call me about stuff before just just out of. I just would like that as a courtesy as a board member. So who's to blame for the lack of communication? Glossman says the issue lies within considering it was the university who notified the media about Oliva's new position, leaving board members clueless. I guess I'm a little not irritated at it. I understand the president has, uh, you know, done great things for the university. And, but this press release that goes out to the press comes from LSU. I don't know if the press reported that wrong or we reported it wrong, but those press releases are supposed to come to the committee to just be reviewed before they go out. Now, despite all the back and forth, the board did handle business they were there to do. The new director of athletics, Scott Wooder, six-year, nearly $8 million contract was approved. In the studio, Jonah Gilmore, Fox 44 News.